egg-bearing or buried female lobsters can carry 8,000 eggs, and for decades they were released whenever they were detected at a lobster pound, but DFO changed that two years ago. As a license condition, pounds must immediately euthanize the lobster. They are prohibited from releasing any egg-bearing female into any lobster fishing area. A surprise to the head of the Nova Scotia Seafood Alliance, who also runs a large lobster pound in Cape Breton. I was not aware, and I usually sign the license. It's a bit shocking to see that DFO is directing us to euthanize any egg-bearing females, yet they don't specify how you're to euthanize a lobster. But it seems to be coming as a shock to a lot of people this year. DFO did not make anyone available to explain its actions. In a statement, we were told that where it is not possible to determine where they originated, fish, including lobsters, should not be released. The license conditions are a conservation measure to reduce the risk of parasites, disease, and invasive species, or the introduction of genetic differences in lobster populations. Through an interpreter, environmental scientist Linda Campbell, who is deaf, said it's an important, if difficult, step. And the challenge with invasive species is that you do need to prevent the mobility and doing that is doing surveillance and you do have to make some tough decisions along the way and the decisions is best made in partnership with different organizations and people who are involved with these actions. That's what Osborne Burke says did not happen in this case. Where was the consultation? Where was any information in advance? Just change the conditions and send them out? In our case, we don't bring lobsters in from other areas. The bottom line for the lobster industry? Read the fine print. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.